I have to organise the courses and the delivery of those um, key stage four, key stage uh, five areas mostly. I have to cater for, um, look after five other teachers that teach chemistry and ensure that they are supported and have the materials that they need to deliver the chemistry. I have the difficult task of ensuring that the quality of delivery is, is good uh, and that the students are getting a, a good deal out of the school. Um, and I, I feel reasonably confident that we, we do that quite well at the school, um, borne out by reasonable results. Um, I have to ensure day-to-day -day safety in the laboratory, day-to-day um, -day cleanliness in the laboratory. Uh, I also have to liaise with other departments to ensure that there are consistent policies applied across the school. The subject that has, I guess, has turned out to be the most useful was chemistry. It's bound to have been. And there were elements of that, I en elements of that, that I did enjoy, and I had some great teachers. Uh, I just didn't... Uh, it may, be, may have been confidence, but I didn't feel particularly confident in any of the subjects that I was learning at school. And I've since realised that probably the, the main reason why I got into certain subjects, particularly chemistry, was that I actually found I could do them. And it was with confidence that I, I could do them, and, and that led me to uh, uh, enjoy them more. The skills that I've picked up in education that are most relevant to me now as a teacher um, are those skills um, of accuracy and uh, knowledge, firm knowledge of the, the subject that I'm teaching. It, it seems incredible that regardless of age, students, um, they could be 11, which are the youngest I teach, up to 18, uh, really suss out quite quickly if a teacher isn't fully abreast of the, the, the material that they're teaching. I, if I'm realistic, I think the jump from GCSE to AS level is uh, is huge. We see this every year. It was up to the old o le up to the old A level. Um, the gap was large then. Uh, the gap still remains between GCSE and A level. It's uh, it's it's insurmountable for a small group of students, but but. Many students go from GCSE to AS level. They find it very difficult. They, um, they feel that they can't do it. They have a lack of confidence at times. We try to support them as far as possible, as I'm sure all teachers do, to try and, uh, to try and see their way through that. Uh, and the sense of, of relief and pleasure that students get when the penny drops at AS, I think, is, or A2, is fantastic.